Good morning to all and welcome back to my channel. I can tell you all now that I am pissed off. Like, I was extremely pissed off yesterday. Did an early shift at work, all was well. Got on the bus home because I don't drive so obviously I need to get home on the bus. Uh, got off said bus and my phone pinged with a notification that someone on that bus had a positive coronavirus test and submitted it and I was in contact with them. So now I have to isolate for nine days because of that absolute <laughs> So I can assure you I am not happy. <laughs> my little rant yesterday i am literally in day one of this self-isolation i had a pcr test at work on tuesday the result came back first thing this morning and it is negative so anything before tuesday is not the reason why i have to self-isolate so this is to do with some bugger who was on the bus so now i have nine days of lots of things to do like cleaning, crafting, playing games, watching movies, it's literally all I can do because I can't leave the house. I can move around my own house and garden but that's as far as I can go. I'm annoyed because I was supposed to be at work today and the shift is obviously going to have to be covered because I'm not there to work it because of all of this so not happy at all. So trying to put all this negativity aside, my first job of the day is a shower, but I'm going to be dyeing my hair as the roots are now coming through, here and here, it looks like I'm going bald, which is actually probably the truth. And then I'm just going to get some cleaning done really and see what the day brings. <laughs> sorted, all washed, all clean. The little echo dot that my boyfriend ordered has finally arrived so I'm going to go down and essentially set it up for the lounge and then we have an Alexa upstairs and an Alexa downstairs.
rest of today is going to consist of just some crafting, watching movies and that. So we'll tune into day two and see what I can be cramming in tomorrow. Good afternoon, here we are with day two. And I have done a PCR test ready to send off. As it turns out, um, I only found out after I'd ordered a kit off the website that I don't actually have to do a PCR test um, if the app hasn't told me to. The app did say that I had to isolate. So it turns out when I rang up 119 last night that I don't do a PCR if I've only been told to isolate. So I ended up getting one um, prior to knowing that and I'm doing it now. So um, the lady on the phone was like understanding and that and just send it off anyway so that's what i'm going to do it also turned out as well that i can leave the house um if it's to post the test in one of the priority mailboxes uh as long as i go there straight back and social distance they said that I can, i'm actually allowed to do that so that's what i'm going to do um the post box pickup is half four and it's like three now so i'll be leaving in half an hour to go straight to the box and straight back again minus being in the garden this is probably the first time i've actually been out of the house but the weather hasn't actually been that fantastic anyway doing this as well is actually a nice little walk just for a bit of fresh air um, and it's the only one time I'm going to be able to do this so I've got to make the most of my walk, get there and back. I'm now just a couple of hundred feet away from the priority post box and all done. So I'm almost home again, um, back to lock myself in for however long, much longer so I'm just going to get tea prepared and there's not really much that I've done today really apart from a bit of cleaning so maybe tomorrow will be a little bit more productive. In the process of me going to take the rubbish to the bins outside while it is raining, and it's coming down a bit, but just a shower, Aurea decided that she was going to go out for a little while. And she has gone back in now, but she hadn't planned to. She's a soggy moggy. She's gone back outside again. And I think this one's considering going back out too. Aurea beans! Wet kitty. So I'm just watching this film, Luca, oh, before well, I go to bed. But I think I'm going to have an early night tonight. I am feeling pretty tired. It's not like I have work or anything tomorrow or anything to do tomorrow. So yeah, there's, I might just hit the sack on a Friday night super early. So it's day three of self-isolating and Oreo is causing trouble. Um, I'm still social distancing from my fella. Good morning all and here is day five of my isolation vlog. I did skip yesterday's um, recording a vlog because the only reason is is that I was mega tired and I just ended up going to bed early. I only got about five hours sleep and because we didn't really do anything apart from me journaling that wasn't really worth recording anything so hopefully today we'll get a little bit more out of uh jobs and stuff and what i've been getting up to so this is my job list to do today so uh yeah it's gonna be fun and games i've already put the bedding in the wash so that's a list or that's like a job already ticked off i'm getting screamed at by the cats to be fed so i'm gonna have to feed them first as well so uh yeah, the only trouble is, is Mabel's not eating a wet food, so there'll be no wet food for her today.
So that's it. The kitchen is already done. That's something I can tick off my to-do list. Now that that's done, I'm just going to go and dry my hair because it's been sat in here for a little bit too long and I'm going to put this and the towels in the wash as well. So now I'm going to let the cats out for a little while and put out the washing line, hang up this bed in. I've got towels on the go now as well. I still have ironing and other jobs to do, but I think I'm getting there now. That's all done, it was mostly vests and underwear, so there was only actually a few items that I had to do. So now I can cross ironing off the list. After I'd done that, I was just about ready to clean the bathrooms after I spoke to my partner on the phone. And Mabel was lying on the bed next to me, and I had a cuddle with her for five minutes, and it's now four o'clock. I actually fell asleep for about an hour and a half unexpectedly. And what was my reward after that snooze? A headache. I managed to get the bathrooms done after that little nap that I had. Um, that's really it for the day, apart from the crafting that I'm doing. So here comes day six tomorrow. Good day to all, and it is day six. I have three days left of isolation, and then I am free as a bird again. Really hoping that's not my washing machine about to conk out again. I've already had 10 weeks of hell from the last one. I think it's stopped now. Good morning all. It is day seven of my self-isolation. So yesterday I didn't get very far with my vlog at all. Um, it's like I just completely forgot to carry on with it. Uh, I did mostly cleaning around the house so there wasn't really like a lot going on but that's the trouble when you're stuck at home and you've done things that you need to do like cleaning so you have literally nothing else to do. So I just spent it like watching movies and pottering about really and uh, I just completely forgot to finish yesterday, but nothing happens, so let's see if we can make some more progress out of today. Last night I was itching like crazy. Um, it's been happening for a little bit, bit, a little bit of a while now, and uh, I thought I'll try some special cream on my skin and then wash it off the next morning, but um, I still feel a bit itchy, so what I thought it could be, it's not. So... I'm absolutely ravaged in like scabby areas and spots and I thought it could be heat spots but I don't think it's that either. Well this is awkward. I can't find the stuff that I need to do the painting with. I don't know where I've put it all. The shed needs tidying up to be fair. So I am painting this bench and I am painting those benches as well. I'm adding some colour to them again. <laughs>
those benches just yet and then put the big one on there for the simple reason is that one the big one I need two people to carry it and two they're still damp so might have to wait an hour or so while the sun's beaming down on them and then I can start on the big bench but I will just have to move it on my own or paint it where it is but I'll have to put something down underneath it to protect the floor I could actually start painting that fence panel with the blue paint that could be an idea but I don't have any cloths left to do that with and I can do that while I'm waiting for the benches to dry and kill two birds with one stone I've also just popped a little bit of sun cream on my skin because it is getting very hot now I think I forgot to spray this area so I'll do that but I'm gonna have to put the parasol up as well but and keep my drink cold and that because that sun the temperature is really really picking up now in the afternoon it's three o'clock and it feels like it's just getting hotter and hotter so i've got the parasol up now and um that's going to provide some shelter for my drink and my tripod uh, but i'm going to be moving my tripod over on that bench in the minute because i'm going to paint this fence and it can be a very long-winded process uh i just need something to protect the stones because as silly as it sounds like the last time I painted it I already got blue paint on the stones but I want to try and reduce what I've already done so yeah um, I'll have to have a forage around in the garage to see if there's something I can just put down painting's coming on really well and I'm on to the next part of the fence now but I've had to get rid of the cobwebs because as much as I don't like spiders I think the cobwebs are worse when they touch you and tickle you and it really puts me off. I think when the time comes I will be painting all of this fence right the way around the garden as well and there is a lot I mean we spent about 130 quid worth on Cooper and paint because it was 30 pound a tin and the tins are let me check five liters a tin and that's at 30 pound each so I'm taking a break off the fence and I've got a good chunk of it done so that I could put the benches back as you can see the difference in the two paint colors there and the shades so that needs more uh, coats on this is on like two since I started it but I'm uh, just gonna get this bench painted now the big one I managed to get it across and uh, it's gonna look lovely when it's done just had something to eat fish and chips <sniffs> yummy so the bench has had two coats on it and I'm going to finish this off now and I'm actually going to be painting the front panel and the front of the gate around in the front of the garden as well but when it comes to the outside fence panels down the alleyway I'm not bothering with them they don't need doing
I actually like being in my garden when the sun's coming down, ready to set, and it's like late evening and I'm still painting. It's just so nice. managed to paint all of the fence around the front gate and the front panel and I've put another coat on that fence over there as you can see the difference I didn't know whether to go further in because you don't really see that area there so all this bit section like is done now I have a friend in the garden who's gone for a nosy for his worms I'm not going to be able to move now I just stand so still they usually come in an evening because sometimes worms seem to be more abundant in an evening as opposed to in a burnt morning as you say early bird catches the worm but uh, this dude I think he's for regular I think he's the same bird as yesterday and he always comes in an evening for his dindins he actually isn't bothered by me being here at all but I can't move anywhere I don't want to scare him off, he's got a mouth full of worm, which is gross. And I have managed to do two fence panels with the leftover cuprinol I have, and I still have some left, maybe half a panel. Uh, but you can see the difference in the coating, but obviously it'll have to wait until tomorrow morning to see how well it turned out. I am absolutely covered in paint, but... I have managed to get half of this done right across the top there and these two panels done. So all I'm going to do now is have a shower and that is pretty much me done for the day. I am wiped out and I am itching like crazy. I think I'm paranoid that I've been bitten again. So I'm itching all over. I feel like I've got bugs crawling in my hair. I've even got paint in my hair. How the hell have I got paint in my hair? I've actually used most of that Cooper Mole on me. So, oops. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Good morning everybody and it is day eight. I am now very close to freedom. Freedom tomorrow. No more isolation tomorrow. I can't wait. I've been looking forward to this for ages. Natural flow test is negative so that can go in the bin. Okay let's see what we are doing today. So first off, it is feeding time at the zoo. My children are fed, they're occupied for a minute. I just need to do a bit of gardening. My branch at the front under the kitchen window has grown like crazy again. So I can't reach the um, gas meter to read the numbers because the branch is just in the way. The sun is in and out today, but um, the clouds are not looking friendly. What I'm wanting to do is try and get the branches done as quick as I can, because I can already see them in the kitchen window. They're overgrowing like crazy, so I need to cut that down and then cut down the other like tree so that um, I can get access to my um, gas meter, because when you're trying to open and shut the door, you've just got branches in the way. So after all that painting that I did yesterday, I am aching all over and um, when I bent down to give the cats the treats, I actually realised I couldn't bend down enough because it was just sore and aching everywhere. Honestly, it's ridiculous how quick that has grown since I last cut it. So now it's going to have to be cut again. <laughs> amazing how a nice little trim makes the whole difference in the world so now I can read my gas meter so it's like the clouds keep on coming but no rain is falling and because it was so hot yesterday my grass is drying out again so I decided to get the sprinkler out and I got kind of a bit wet in the process trying to adjust it and that but I think I've got it now Carl seems to have a knack for the sprinkler more than I do but uh, as long as it doesn't blow into other people's gardens and get them wet, which I don't really think many people are out in the gardens today anyway, 
um, I can just give the grass a good watering and if it rains it rains but it really needs a bit of attention. It was absolutely beautiful weather yesterday and it just looks gross today. I really hope the sun does come out later because I want to get the painting done on the fences. Um, they could do with another coat to be honest, I was actually hoping not to do it but they do need one and they do look so much better now, they've had another coat on. Uh, so when Carl finishes work this afternoon he's going to pick me up some more Cooper Mall, a couple of tins of that and then I can just do a bit of painting this afternoon because I've got all my painting scruffs on. But apart from that, I don't really have anything that I need to do today. My two tins of Cuprinol are here. Damn spiders just dropping in all over the place. Ugh. Look at him. Yucky, 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 yucky. So I have done loads of painting tonight and I only have three panels left. And it's not that one. That Yeah, that one and then and the gate. And then that's done. That one, that one, and then. But my work is far from over. These two have had two coats now, so they're done. That's had half a coat, so this bottom half needs doing, which I'm going to do tonight. And then it's just another coat on those ones there. That's it. I managed to get two coats on the fence right up to here. So you can see the difference in the colours. But obviously it's fresh paint. And that will probably go a little bit darker, but it will bring up this these ones up to this. So two coats on these panels and the gate. And then that is actually the whole garden done. Don't need to do the shed. I've just got to make sure, um, like I'll check all the house in a minute, make sure that uh, I haven't touched anything with paint. Yes, it's water soluble, so it comes off easily. But I don't know what it's like on something that's painted surface like a door frame. Hopefully it should just come off with a bit of a scrub without taking any paint off the door frame itself. I also got a notification from my COVID-19 app that told me to self-isolate nine days ago. And it came up with this. Uh, yes, as of midnight tonight, I am no longer in self-isolation. So I could not be happier. I am free as a bird again. So it's close to midnight. It should turn off at any second. Yay! I am actually out of isolation now. Happy days. It is Friday. I am free from isolation. I'm off to the shop because I'm going to go get myself a Subway sandwich. Uh, I'm about to work tomorrow and I'm really really happy that I'm not stuck in the house anymore. So if you enjoyed my video more than I did being as trapped in isolation then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, tap on the bell and you'll get a video when I post again. Until that time stay safe and I'll see you soon.